are some examples of Pat Croce live. Have you ever heard yourself say, I should have called on him last week. I should have listened to her. I should have apologized to her before I left home this morning. I should have bought that stock. I should work out more. I should write that down. If you should or you should have, I'm telling you to do it and do it now. Don't smell like should. <laughs> should stinks. <laughs> Kick the should out of yourself. <laughs> and we all know that should happens. But don't let it happen to you. I'm telling you to seize the day. Carpe diem. Even when the day seizes you by the throat. Once again, I ask all of you, where is your resistance coming from? Is it a locked door or a locked mind keeping you from achieving all those dreams and goals? Some of you might be saying your setbacks are too steep. That the obstacles and problems in the marketplace are too big to beat that the competitors are too strong to conquer, that your dreams and goals are impossible. No, no, no. The only place where it's impossible rests right on top of your shoulder. Now, I'm no poet. I don't read much poetry, and I don't recite poetry to my wife. But there is one poem, only eight lines long, that I've committed to memory many years ago. And it was written by Ella Wheeler Wilcox, and it goes like this. One ship sails east and another west with the same winds that blow. Tis the set of the sails, and not the gales, that decides the way we go. Like the winds of the sea are the ways of fate, as they voyage along through life. Tis the will of the soul that decides its goal, and not the calm or the strife. Tis the will of the soul. How bad do you want to be number one? How bad do you want to be the best? How bad do you want it? Haven't you ever not asked for something for fear of rejection, for fear of failure? Well, I have the answer, and it sits in my office, in my credenza, behind my desk. It's an eight and a half by 11 blue matted motivational quote by Emerson that I bought in Ocean City on an arts and crafts fair on the boardwalk. And it reads, always, 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 always do what you're afraid to do. Do what you're afraid to do. Isn't that cool? I'm telling you, to go after the big deal, kill this show. Everyone who walks in that building wants a car, and you're offering what? One of or the best product. That's up to you. They're already tuned. All you have to do is pull them in. Live your dream. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your goals. Ask for the impossible. June 17th. I'm sitting dazed in the middle of a street, cold and wet, with my motorcycle lying next to me. And my boot knocked off, and I can't figure out what happened. I pick up my boot, and I look inside, and my foot's still in it. It was attached to my leg by way of my Achilles tendon and just some strands of denim. It's a little over a year and a half later, five surgeries, four screws, a titanium rod, and the transplant of some shoulder muscle, and I'm here to tell you to pursue your dreams and goals.